Hi friends, I'm Holly Taylor. Today we are trying a new game that was just released recently. I'm taking a little break from Baldo for now to try this one out. This game honestly seems right up my alley. It looks adorable. It's got farming and crafting and fighting elements. And there's cats. I guess it's kind of like Animal Crossing. All of the um, NPCs are animals. You play as a cat and I think it's just really cute and wholesome. Um, there is some battling. I've heard really good things about it, so I think I'm going to love it. I hope I'm not hyping it up too much, but let's see what it's all about. Well, there's local co-op. That could be interesting. I think you get to design your own cat. I think there are a few different color options. I have a black cat. Her name is Tux. She's got a white chest. Legends speak of a time that Kanoidera faced the calamity. Once docile monsters were driven into a violent rage by a mysterious power. Brave heroes assembled to protect the people. After an arduous battle, the monsters were defeated and the mysterious power subsided. People returned to their normal lives, and peace was restored. Or so we thought. There have been whispers of the Calamity returning once more, with no heroes remaining to fight against it. What is the cause of this mysterious power? Will Kanoidera ever be truly at peace? West Pawfield. It's so cute. Macaron, we've been searching for hours and we still can't find the village. I'm so tired. Are you sure that Commander Blue gave us the right directions? I'm starting to doubt it. What did we do wrong that he would send us so far from the capital? Huh? Gosh. So wholesome. Alright, I guess I'm supposed to follow... Him? Her? According to the map, the village should be close, right? I bet you it's right over that red dotted line. By the way, wandering around unfamiliar places is quite dangerous, don't you think? We should be prepared for anything. You know, in case some monsters decide to ambush us. Is that what is about to happen? Of course, I'm hoping that it doesn't happen. You should equip your weapon before we move on. And I have a beginner sword, so let's equip it. What is this, some milk? Oh, cats like milk. It's a cute touch. All set? Good, let's get moving. Wasn't this line red a minute ago? Maybe that meant I couldn't pass through it. Can I not go backwards, though? Upriver field. Huh? What's going on? Oh, boy. Kid. Sob. Some gooeys are surrounding somebody. They aren't usually so aggressive toward people. Gosh, that poor kid. What do we do? It's interesting that they call them people. Oh, uh, we're definitely gonna help her. She's adorable. You're right, we could never abandon someone in need. Are you ready? Here we go. 
Hey, you over there! They're so scared. <laughs> Didn't your parents ever tell you to be kind to others? Especially elders and kids? If you want someone to spar with, find someone who can fight back. Like us, right here. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, so we aren't that strong. But you should find that out for yourself. <laughs> here they come. Get ready. Uh, why do attack be to dodge? Ooh, look at that field of attack. Okay, I guess I should dodge away when they... When I'm in their line of sight. Oh. Thought I didn't kill him for a second. Phew! No sweat. Hey, kid. Are you okay? Mm, they're so grateful. Is their name Kid? Or do we just not know their name yet so it says Kid? That was awesome! I've never seen anyone fight like that. Ho ho ho! That's because we've been training for years. Pretty cool though, right? Anyway, we should probably escort you home. It's getting late. Right, Nan? Is that my name? I don't get to name myself? Thank you, kind travelers. I live not far from here. Come on, I'll show you the way. Probably in the village we were trying to get to. Wouldn't that be convenient? Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Video game towns are my favorite thing in the world, and this one is amazing. Look at the windmill. Paw Village. I wonder what that fancy wing looking thing is. Grampy! Oh wait. Well, it says kid and he's a goat. But I thought the kid was a, a, a bunny or a cat maybe? Oh, my precious kid, thank goodness. I was worried you might get into trouble. She was already in trouble, I might add. I told you not to play too far from the village, Aaron. Tis still dangerous out there. Okay, so her name is Aaron, not kid. I'm sorry, Grampy. There was a pretty dragonfly near the river that I wanted to catch. Then I ended up bumping into some angry monsters. I was so afraid, Grampy. I'm glad these two were there to help me. Thank you, brave travelers. You should be more mindful of your surroundings next time. Thank you for helping my granddaughter. I hope she doesn't cause you any more trouble. Bah, where are my manners? Welcome to Paw Village. I am Oliver, the village chief. May I ask who you are? Oh, Paw Village. Great. We've been looking for this place for hours. I'm Macaron, and this is Nianza Von Whiskers. Our commander sent us here after receiving word that uh, nearby monsters were causing a disturbance. Ah, soldiers from the capital city. Thank goodness you are finally here. That's right. We've been having some problems with monsters outside the village. Meh, they seem more aggressive lately, and it's causing us nothing but trouble when gathering resources from nearby areas. Nobody here can fight, so we needed to seek help from the capital city. Don't worry, Chief. From now on, we'll take care of this problem so you can live in peace. Thank you very much. I feel much safer knowing you are here now. It is getting late. Please feel free to stay the night at our house if you'd like. Oh, that's okay, Chief. Actually, we already have a place to stay. Do you know the way to Uncle Payne's old place? Are you one of Payne's relatives? Oh, yes. Yanza is his grandchild. It's a pity we couldn't visit him when he was still around. I hope he wouldn't mind us staying at his old house for a while. Bah, don't. Do not worry, brave soldiers. Payne Thunderbum is one of the kindest men I ever knew. <laughs> I said Thunder 
bum instead of thunder bun. <laughs> I knew, I know he would be glad to let you stay. You are a relative after all. Please follow me. I will show you the way to his old house. Isn't it always like an old relative that leaves you their house that happens to have some farmland? You're tasked with caring for it. Same old story every time. Never gets old. Thunderbun Farm. It might look shabby from the outside, but tis quite spacious and comfortable within. I hope you enjoy your stay here. As long as there are comfy beds, it'll be perfect. Thanks for bringing us here, Chief. You must be tired from your journey. I won't keep you any longer. Please rest. We will see you tomorrow. Good night. Night. Let's go home, Aaron. Good night, Macaron. Good night, Nianza. We're finally here. Let's go inside and get some rest. My feet hurt. Gosh. Okay, I have control of my character now. Let's look around a little bit. Selling box. I'm not going to sell this, but I did get some, oh, uh, some mucus from the gooeys I defeated earlier. It just turned nighttime. Um, we've got a clock up above. Ooh. The camera perspective changed on, it own, on its own. I don't think I can change it. We've got a well. I don't have any tools. I can fix up some um, chests. One is already built, but it is locked. Got a little bit of stuff to clear in the land, but not much. I wonder if the resources kind of come back every day. What is this? Oh, practice target. Practice with an S. All right, let's go to bed. I'm sure there will be more tutorial slash item weapon tool getting via the story. Oh, home's pretty cute. All right, I will save. Ooh, I think this is how I can change my appearance. Okay, we started as gray. There's gray and white. Noir would be the closest to my cat. I don't know if I love the look, though. Oh, Calico's real cute. White is cute. Tabby's cute. I guess I can change it at any time. I want to be... White or Calico. Let's go white for now. Um, but then it also looks like I can maybe have jewelry and clothes and backpack, maybe. Let's go to sleep. What happened to um, Macaron? Where, where did they go? <laughs> Do they sleep outside? <laughs> Okay, so it looks like maybe it saves, auto-saves overnight anyway. So I didn't ha have to save on my own, but it's nice to know that that option's there if I want to take the, a break in the middle of a game day. Okay, I was kind of expecting someone to be, like, waiting outside to talk to me and teach me things, but maybe we have to go to town for that. Besides the camera changing on its own. Everything's great so far. They definitely could have done something really cute with this loading screen. I'm kind of disappointed. It's just a logo. Pant. What's wrong, Tim? Did something happen? Monsters. Chased. Good morning, everyone. Hey, did something happen? You don't look so good. Ah, uh, young soldiers. Good morning. I hope you are well rested. Our provisioner here seems quite troubled with something. Take a deep breath, Tim, and then tell us what happened. I was 
on my way back from picking up some goods for the shop. When I reached By River Field, I was surprised by a group of orcs, as if they were waiting for me. I was so scared, Chief. I dashed away as quickly as I could before they could get me. But I left my bag behind. It is things you, Ms. Apple, and Sage Albie requested. What am I supposed to do? He says, okay, Tim. At least you are not hurt. That is the most important thing right now. I like that he calls him Tim, but it says his name is Timmy. Oh, now he calls him Timmy. Young soldiers, I'm sorry for the sudden request. Would you be willing to help Timmy locate his things? As I mentioned, none of us here can fight, so you are our only hope. Soldiers? You can fight? Please, friends, please help me get my bag back. All right, Chief, we'll help Timmy out. Besides, it's a tad strange that orcs decided to venture outside of their territory. I sure hope it wasn't the calamity. We need to determine the cause and report to our commander. Very well. Please, always be on your guard. I have heard nasty things about these bleeding orcs. Tim, do you have any remaining supplies? Yes, I still have some croissants on me. Here, please take these. Eating them will replenish your health. Thank you. Sorry for the trouble, friends. Please be careful. Thank you. Please wait for our return. No one's going to say anything about how I went from gray to white overnight. No? No one notices? Okay. All right, let's open the map. Oh, I didn't expect it to look like this. Okay. Okay. It kind of seems like levels, but I don't think that's actually the case. I think he said by Riverfield? But maybe it was up river. I wonder where I started. Where's the capital city? We just like teleported to West Paw Field. Alright, um. I kind of want to talk to some people and explore a little bit. Carmel, I'm bored. Can we do something fun later? Can I go in these buildings? No. That's actually really disappointing. Oh yeah, what's this thing? Teleport! Nice. Okay, this is the way I came from. I don't know if there's another exit from the town. I didn't look all the way around. Whoops. Upriver Field. Got a chest. With an apple. Oof. Okay, I need to get used to rolling away. I am much more of an offensive than defensive player. I kind of just, you know, whack and don't really have any regard for my own health and just heal up when I need to. That's the most efficient and the way that I like to play. But this game, the fact that it gives you that field of where they're going to be attacking, it is pretty convenient. And <laughs> if I can be quick enough in my reactions, I should learn how to really take advantage of that. There does seem to be some delay, though. Hey, come back here. Which maybe I just need to be quicker. Can't go in the water. I think this is where I saved Aaron, so probably going up is where I'm supposed to go. They don't actually, like, notice you. Ooh, I think I did it that time. They don't seem to really notice or care about you until you attack them first, which might be nice for avoiding enemies when I can't, like, when I'm really low on health or I just don't feel like fighting them and I just want to get to my destination. Forest entrance. I don't actually know if this is right. But I'm getting lots of mucus. Ooh, what's this thing? 
It's so bouncy. It's so cute. Oh, it's a carrot. Oh, that was the cutest noise. <laughs> Carrot's so angry. Vine. Is it a carrot? I think it is. Here's another chest. Coal. Uh, here. Or, uh, what does that say? Karu? I can't read that. Okay, let's see who lives or works here. Oh, I can't. Ooh, what did that do? No target found. Okay. The X button's going to do something in the future. Oh, I do have a stamina wheel. I didn't notice that earlier. Can't go that way. That's definitely what the red line means. So either I'm supposed to go that way and I haven't accomplished something yet. Or I was supposed to go down the other path. I wonder what the orcs are going to look like. Oh, did these guys all come back to life? They sure did. It's weird that they seem to have, like, emotions. Not that sentient beings having emotions being would be weird, but the fact that they felt the need to program an icon showing how the enemies are reacting. I did hear some people say they did not like the battle in this game, that it got very repetitive. And I can certainly see that, but it's really not bad at all. I kind of like it. Oh, whoa! King Gooey! Oh my gosh. I was staring at the King Gooey and not even... Oh boy. Is this like a boss? Wait a minute, it's actually called King Gooey. I was just saying that because it's a giant googie. I hadn't even noticed the crown on its head. Oof. Oh, wow. There's so much health on this guy. I... Unless I get my rolls down perfectly, I might not survive this. I guess we're gonna find out what happens when you die. I hope I don't lose like items or anything and it saves it right away so it's not like you can undo it hopefully the consequences aren't too harsh um okay I don't think I lost any items I guess we just have to go all the way back. We just lose our progress on the trail. Actually, it says it's seven on the third. It makes me think that I just slept to the next day. Hello, Mr. Bear. Are you the blacksmith? Shamrock. Welcome to Black Bear Blacksmith. I'm Shamrock. If you need to craft any equipment, you can come and find me here. Well, I do need some equipment. I think I already have a sword. I can get a better sword. Maybe that's better for the King Gooey's. 30 orc tokens. Paw pennies. Oh. Holy sword. Um, okay, so there's bows. That's probably what the target button 
I had hit earlier does. Should keep an eye out for a big mushroom so I can get my first bow. Axe, hoe, pickaxe, watering can, and then upgraded versions of each. So... Wait a minute. These are the upgraded versions. So I have to start with a farming axe, etc. So... I'm gonna have to figure out where I get those. Keys. Oh, used to open copper chests. That's probably what is on my farm right now. Interesting. I wonder how often I'm gonna come across locked chests. And I wonder if I have to... Yeah, I guess you're essentially buying them or crafting them here. You don't really craft on your own. There are really no interiors of the houses. That's so sad. Rose, living with Auntie Apple is hard. She always talks too much, but her food is so delicious. Ms. Apple. Oh, so these are locked. And they're not really for sale. It's kind of like crafting them again. I have to bring the ingredients. And then there's, there is currency, there's paw pennies, but interesting. Okay. Oh, wait, I want to read what milk does. Restore health and increase movement speed for 30 seconds. Okay, I did hear about this. So apparently there are chests in a lot of the main areas. I don't exactly know what main areas means, but... Oh my gosh, time is passing while I'm in this menu. That's unfortunate. Um, so you have a limited inventory. It looks like I, I can unlock more, but I can store whatever I want in these chests. Like, it looks like there are already croissants. So, well, if they're going to take up inventory space, I might as well keep them all on me. But if I don't want, like, these vines for crafting, I can move them. I don't need coal for anything yet. Don't think I'm going to need mucus out in the field. So now I can only take my health items and have room to pick up more stuff. And those items stay in that chest, but I can come back and get them whenever I want. Kiki. Welcome to White Rabbits. We provide only the best quality fruit and vegetable seeds. Come and visit us from time to time. Okay. I have 500 paw pennies. So I can start farming. I guess I don't have tools to farm yet. And I'm going to have to unlock things to get anything beyond the most basic seeds. I wonder if there are seasons? Hey, Aaron. Hello, are you going to fight monsters today? They have gooeys and a pen. <laughs> That's so funny. Is there anything back here? No. little central fountain is cute. Oh, there's a chest back here. I feel like I'm stealing someone's property. 200 paw pennies. I feel rich. Hello, did you have a good rest? Please talk to the other villagers if you need something in particular, kid. <laughs> I like that he calls everyone kid. Okay, that's it for the town. I'm really quite sad that you can't go inside anywhere. And Paw Village is my only teleport location, so it's not just the areas you've been to before. You must have to find some specific teleport location to unlock. And I'm going to save my health, but also... I'm not going to fight that King Gooey again. I'm going to wait until I'm a little bit stronger for that. And I mean, honestly, the map isn't that big because look how far we just went to get to a whole new area. But 
each of these individual locations could be much larger on their own. Okay, so I think... Oh, there's King Gooey. He just moved a little bit. Excuse me, I would like to cross this bridge. You're in my way. I'm really sorry about this because you're quite cute. Vengeful soul. What is... The oh, oh, oh. I am vulnerable in the menu. Didn't expect that. The whole time passing thing was a surprise. I didn't know I could be killed during it too. Mysterious dark object. Ooh, run away. Don't have enough time to read. Okay, what the heck is a vengeful soul? A mysterious dark object that houses an imprisoned soul used to create elemental spheres. That is creepy for such a cute game. I mean, I know there's a calamity out there. Can, can you not? I guess you do have to be careful um, when attacking. This is probably a teleport spot. Safe checkpoint. Um, I guess like before approaching an enemy, make sure that you're not kind of blocked and limited in your ability to roll away. Look at this little tent. Can't go in here, can I? I wonder if things are just like unlocked as you progress or if there's something specific that I'm going to know like oh I did this now I can go in that area like a quest is gonna send me there or I don't know something else probably a quest by Riverfield okay this is my mission it's probably gonna be at least one new type of enemy here, I'd imagine. Besides the air. Oh! Oh, he's a big boy! He's got a big axe! Oh! He's kind of slow, though. Oh, I cannot pass until I kill him, huh? I don't think there's any leveling up in the game. There are these blue diamonds below my health. I wonder what that is for. That's a rock, not an enemy. Oof. I would like to hit them both at once. That would be ideal. Yeah, I mean, this battling, it really keeps me on my toes. I kind of like that. Um, the item looked that way, but I'm gonna check over here real quick. Hey, it's not blocked off. Look at that. Oh, there's not even a red line, but I still can't go in. Wait a minute. What the heck would be the point of this bridge, though, leading to, like, this opening? That's not fair. I'm gonna write in and complain. It's a fancier bridge. I wonder if you can go fishing in this game. Ooh, it's nighttime. Got Timmy's bag. And an apple. Okay, I can't go farther. Let's see if I can go back to that checkpoint I found earlier and teleport to Paw Village. That'll probably save me some time. But if that's not how it works, if I can only teleport from Paw Village, I'm going to be going on my way a little bit. I wonder if the enemies change at nighttime. Ooh, there's a bat. Fluffy. I'm a little bit afraid of this King Gooey. Why are the bats called Fluffy? Okay, these- ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. These bats are more aggressive than the Gooeys. Okay. Just gonna bypass them. Oh, oh, no. 
No, no, no. Get me out. That didn't seem to do anything, unfortunately. So I guess that... Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. I guess at nighttime, you, ju you just have to head on home. They give you this ability to teleport, but... Like, what if I'm really far away? There's so many different... Like... What if I'm really far away? I have to run back home at night? Doesn't make any sense. It is pretty late. I wonder if there's a certain point that you pass out and if there are any consequences for that. Okay, so I can teleport to the checkpoints, but sounds like I cannot teleport from the checkpoints. I'd really like to get some farming tools soon, though, and see um, what that side of this game is more about. Thunderbun. Is this it? Like... They don't do anything? They just move back to their positions? Boring. I have nothing to sell, do I? Oh, should I sell like monster parts? No, I think I can craft with them. Got some raw meat? This vengeful soul. Alright, let's go to bed. Hopefully that fully restores my health. It did when I was killed, but... Alright, new day. My health is restored. Let's see if there's someone waiting for me to give me tools and kind of explain about farming. No one. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just like so ingrained with that's how every farming game does it. Like someone from the village comes by to like be like, hey, I found this old tool. Here you go. Uh, but I guess that's not going to happen in this game. So this is adorable and I do really enjoy it so far. I kind of want to see more depth to the game though. I know I'm still kind of in the very beginning mode of it, but I think the game has a lot of potential. It's certainly cute. It's definitely relaxing. Like this is a game I could just play for hours and take my mind off other stresses in life. And I do really like it so far. So I'll be playing more, but I'm going to wrap this episode up here. If you like this and want to see me playing more Kataria Fables, please give the video a like and subscribe to see more. Thank you for watching.